Hi everyone, uh, Happy New Year. Here's Mark Vernizzi for bonsaiempire.com. Hi Oscar, how you doing? And uh, right after some uh, Christmas celebration, I came here on the Italian Dolomites to celebrate uh, some good time with uh, my friends Heidi. Uh, Heidi, say hi. And then uh, I'm very excited to be uh, hosting this video and let's go with the first question, all right? So Steve Taylor, uh, I guess is not the guy from the Aerosmith, is asking, what is it like to study as a disciple in Japan? It's a great question also because I just came back from Japan where I spent one month studying with my master, uh, Masaiko Kimura. Um, I used to study with him uh, back a long time ago from 97 till 2001 that unfortunately I quit. A lot of things have changed since when I started to uh, work in Japan but the most important thing for someone who wants to undertake uh, the life of a disciple, the bonsai disciple in Japan is definitely full commitment to uh, the art and his uh, master. So uh, everybody should expect to take maybe one day off every, every month to work from 8 in the morning till like it will happen in my master garden till 11 at night. Now why working so late? Because in the evening is the only time when the disciple have uh, pretty much nothing else to do outdoor uh, so they can stay inside the workshop and the master doesn't have to host uh, guests and, and customers and doesn't receive calls so between 8.30 till 11 and midnight we can really strictly focus on the work on the trees which is for us is a luxury because one thing is very important to understand is that when you work as a disciple um, you're going to spend most of your day doing things that have very little to do with bonsai like fixing the plumbing system, building a toilet, uh, doing a lots and lots of cleaning, running errands, go do some groceries uh, and all sorts of different things that are not strictly related to the art of bonsai but are very much related to the life uh, of a bonsai garden or any business for that matter so you, uh, if you guys want to undertake that kind of challenge you have to be ready to face the fact that you're not going to spend every day just working on the trees so um, you uh, a disciple have a total unconditional dedication to his oyakata that's how we call our master oyakata in japanese means the way of the parent so the disciple who decide free willing to um uh, uh learn uh, and work with a master will actually have to fully trust the master so sometimes the master will ask the disciple to do something that the, the disciple might not understand the reason why but it doesn't matter because the master knows it and that's enough so uh, because the master then will uh, do things in order to uh, make sure the disciple really learn hell of a lot of uh, things they're gonna be very useful in his professional career because the um, of course the end goal for every disciple is actually to become a professional now uh, keep in mind that when you are uh, a disciple the kind of way you learn is a very slow way of learning. You're going to repeat the same things over and over again. And more you repeat the same thing, the same technique, the same kind of work, and less excuses you're going to have for not being able to perform well in that specific task. So um, it's, uh, it's, that is a very, very important thing. You have to try to get better every single day. Keep also in mind that every tree you're going to work on, everything you're going to do, it's, it's real. Every tree actually belongs to someone and that someone will have to spend a lot of money for that tree. So uh, that's also different between a bonsai school and of course uh, being a disciple in Japan. Uh, I could say that it's very easy to start to become a disciple. I guess it's like dating era at the beginning is like love and romance and sparkles and butterflies and blah 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 
But then down the road is really when it gets complicated because uh, people, you know, get married. And then the disciple uh, might have to do a lot of different things. They will have no excuse for not knowing certain other things. And they will also have to teach the junior disciple. So every year it gets more and more complicated. So at the end of this long story, we have to keep in mind that whoever uh, have studied in Japan bonsai has been uh, dealing with a great amount of sacrifice on a daily basis for years, years, usually up to five to six years. So, and this is not something that you do like once. You have to keep doing it over and over again. Like your trees, that will, you cannot give up on your trees. Every day your trees will require your full attention. Because uh, when a disciple, and particularly a Gai Kukujin, so a foreigner, moves to uh, Japan, is going to have to face with a different language, a uh, different country, uh, a different mentality, a total different set of priorities, and a different language, which really it's not that easy to deal with. So, uh, just to, uh, I want to make sure that everybody knows that uh, if you want to hire someone, you should be hiring someone who actually study bonsai. Uh, it's better is definitely to have study bonsai in Japan uh, because if you learn something, then you're gonna be able to perform really, really well. You will never put your sick daughter in the hands of a, of a doctor that his Google search the symptoms to find out what's going on. You want to put your sick daughter in the hands of someone who has been doing and performing the same thing for a thousand times before they ever met you. All right? So there are out there, there are amazing guys like Ryan Neal, Matt Real, Michael Agander, Bjorn, Boone, Peter Warren, Peter T, uh, Mario Costa, Valentin Broza, Mark Nulanders, and so and few others and few others actually now still study in Japan so these are the people you want to hire in order to really improve the level of your uh, trees now there is one guy that I know that is just simply genius his name is Valentin Krutz he's been signing with the amazing Jim Grammel up in uh, uh, Occidental Northern California and uh, he's a genius so unless you are Valentin Krutz then you better go out in Japan and study really hard the art of bonsai because it's really, really, uh, really difficult. And so, Adi, have you been going to Japan to study bonsai? No, no, it doesn't seem like. Uh, she's really good at a lot of other things. All right, so uh, ciao for now and uh, thank you for watching. So, Mr. Jack, uh, Jack Bigass. Is asking, it's true that some wannabe bonsai professionals have you work on their trees but strictly keep it as a secret? Actually, what? Oscar? Yeah? Uh, come again? Uh, all right, okay. So, this is actually the question for the third episode of this uh, internet series. Okay, I understand. All right, good.